Hamas, an anonymous group of protesters, is waging a war against the controversial Church of Scientology. The battle between the two sides is picking up, even forcing lawmakers to step in. It's a story you'll only see on News Channel 3. It's 11 o'clock, time for news. Now, from the desert's news leader, KESQ News Channel 3 HD at 11. Hello, I'm Jason Sloss. Thanks for joining us tonight. It's a full-blown war you've likely never heard of. A battle between leaders of the Church of Scientology and a group of activists with both sides sworn to fight to the end. Tonight, News Channel 3's Nathan Baca joins us for the first part of a special investigation you'll only see here on News Channel 3. Nathan. What you're about to see is what our months-long investigation uncovered. The Riverside County Board of Supervisors are making decisions about your right to protest based on what is now happening at Scientology World Headquarters near Hammett. It cuts to the core of a controversial religion and a group of protesters some are calling domestic terrorists. Hey, will you f stop f***ing us off, okay? Will you f***ing stop, stop messing with our car? You're trespassing, okay? you're trespassing, you need to get off my property. F*** you. You're trespassing. Hey, hey. This is war in the shadow of a cross and behind the gaze of a mask. And like any war, there is violence. There is rage. There are politicians in the middle of it. And there are partisans fighting on our streets. Both the Church of Scientology and the group simply known as Anonymous both say they will not stop until the other side is destroyed. Protesters, many wearing masks, regularly picket outside of Scientology's headquarters on Gilman Springs Road near Hemet. Last fall, protesters got too close to Scientology's compound. In videos shot by protesters, one can hear the organ-like sound coming from giant speakers inside the Scientology headquarters trying to disrupt the picketers. Tempers flare. Hey, buddy, will you f***ing stop f***ing us off, okay? Will you Stop messing with our car. And then Scientology guards rush in. You're under arrest for no, no. Protester under arrest. Francois Choquette, known in the anonymous community as Annan Orange, has a knee no. to his neck, his no, face grounded in the dirt by one of three guards around him. A guard does a leg sweep to trip another protester as she tries to recover Choquette's video camera. No, that's really brave. Hey, got it. Hey, come on, man. Leave her. Hey, no, no, no. Leave her alone, man. Don't no, leave her alone. Leave her alone. Come on, man. Come on, man. Do you have that? Then again, the other security guard grabbed me by the arm, so I punched him. And he let me go, and then he tried to grab me again. There was a tussle, and he threw me against the car. Were so, you hurt? Uh, somewhat, yeah, I twisted my back. Riverside County Sheriff's deputies arrive minutes later. They arrest Choquette based on claims by the guards that he bit one of them and that he was guilty of trespassing beyond the legal protest zone. 50 feet from the center of the roadway, sir, each way. Based on this incident and several other protests at their headquarters, the Church of Scientology lobbied the Riverside County Board of Supervisors to ban all protesting close to residential zones, including their massive compound. But this fight also became a spark, a symbol of resistance for the ragtag group of protesters who unify on the Internet and have the attention of law enforcement agencies for their tactics of irregular warfare. It is the war that most have never heard of until now. A coalition of internet activists are sworn to destroy, but what exactly is Scientology? What do its members believe and why is it so controversial? We're taking a closer look at this new church. Now our special series continues tomorrow night coming up only right here on News Channel 3 at 11 o'clock. All right, thanks. We'll look forward to your report. Thank you, Nate.